Welcome back to another episode of Tales After Dark. In this haunted history series, I will be covering some of Ireland's most notorious haunted castles, such as Loughless Hall, Leap Keep, Balagalli Castle, Kilkenny Castle, and more. Some of these structures and spirits even date back to the 12th century. In this series, I hope to help you learn a little bit of Ireland's vibrant history while sharing the ghostly tales that still walk some of Ireland's oldest halls. Some of these historic buildings have been turned into vacation destinations. Any trip and stay details will be included in the show notes below each episode. Maybe you'll be inspired to patron Ireland's most haunted castles for yourself. Hi everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Tales After Dark. I want to apologize for my past couple episodes where the furnace was running in the background. I put music behind my episodes to kind of cover up any kind of background noise. I do live next to a street. It is the middle of winter here in northern Nevada. Uh, So, trucks... (laughs) (laughs) furnaces. Things are going to be in the background occasionally. I don't have a fully professional studio. Maybe in the future. Maybe not. I don't know. I've really grown to love not leaving my house. And that is a gift that 2020 has given me. (laughs) But I do want to go ahead and get into today's story. And if I do sound a little nasally, no need to point it out like the furnace. I've been drinking some wine, but today's story is all about Kilkenny Castle. And can you guess where that castle is located? Yes, it is located in Kilkenny, Ireland, built in 1195 to control a fording point of the River Noor in the junction of several routeways. It was a symbol of Norman occupation, and in its original 13th century condition, it would have formed an important element of defense of the town with four large circular corner towers and a massive ditch, part of which can still be seen today, which blows my mind because 1195 is so long ago. This might be the oldest castle we cover in this series. The property was transferred to the people of Kilkenny in 1967 for 50 euros, and the castle and grounds are now managed by Office of Public Works. The gardens and parkland adjoining the castle are open to the public. The gardens and parkland adjoining the castle are open to the public. The parade tower is a conference venue. Awards and conferring ceremonies of the graduates of the Kilkenny campus and National University of Ireland have been held there since 2002. Kilkenny Castle has been an important site since Richard D. Clare, second Earl of Pembroke, commonly known by his nickname Strongbow, constructed the first castle, most likely a wooden structure in the 12th century. Kilkenny formed part of the lordship of Leinster, which was granted to Strongbow. As history has it, Strongbow had only a daughter and heiress, Isabel, who went on to marry William Marshall in 1189. Marshall was not a bad catch, and Strongbow looked at him to be the son he never had. He owned large estates in Ireland, England, Wales and France, and managed them effectively. In 1192, he appointed Geoffrey Fritz Robert as Seneschal of Leinster, and so began a major phase of development in Kilkenny. 
which of course included the development of Kilkenny Castle. The first stone castle on the site for its time was completed in 1260. This was a square-shaped castle with towers at each corner. Three of these original four towers are still standing to this day. The castle was owned by the Shinestal of Kenny, Sir Gilbert de Bohan, who inherited the county of Kilkenny and castle from his mother in 1270. In 1300, he was outlawed by Edward I, but was reinstated in 1303. He held the castle until his death in 1381. He lived a long life for the time, but the castle was not granted to his heir Joan, but seized by the crown and sold to the Butler family in 1391. The castle became the seat to a very powerful family, the Butlers of Ormonde, the Butler family, who changed their name to Fitzwalter in 1185, arrived in Ireland with the Norman invasion. They originally settled in Goran, where James Butler, 3rd Earl of Ormond, built Goran Castle in 1385. The family had become wealthy, and James bought Kilkenny Castle in 1391 and established himself as the ruler of the area. The Butler dynasty then ruled the surrounding area for centuries. Many of the family, including James Butler, 3rd Earl of Ormond, are buried in St. Mary's Collegiate Church, Goron. Kilkenny Castle is a medieval hotbed of paranormal activity. The main spirit that lurks the halls is that of Lady Eleanor Butler. Lady Butler was born in the castle in the mid-15th century. Her paternal grandmother was Anne Bowley, who happened to be the second wife of King Henry VIII of England. Lady Butler was said to have lived a very unhappy life, being locked up in the castle by her father. Her offenses was that she was suspected by her father of being a lesbian. Yet she ended up mysteriously married to the magical Gerald Fitzgerald, 3rd Earl of Desmond. I think that name sounds familiar. In the spiritual realm, she is known as the White Lady, who is said to roam the corridors and wonders lost and lonely through the castle gardens, occasionally appearing on a staircase and in the garden. A legend says this Lady Eleanor ensures that no guest will have a restful night within the castle. Sightings and activity at the castle have been a frequent occurrence over the centuries, right up to present day. In fact, an electronic counter in the parade tower used for counting visitors to the 13th century part of the fortress continues to count up to a hundred visitors during the hours of darkness while the tower is locked and out of reach of the public. The state-of-the-art device continues to puzzle staff on the ground floor level, formerly a dungeon where it is said many poor souls would have been imprisoned before passing away. Now the starting point for the castle tour, it is also the site of the infamous Dame Alice Kykelter witch trial. Locals tell stories of the castle's white lady roaming the gardens and riverbanks below she also wanders the corridors and staircases and may have been inadvertently photographed as recently as 2010 by two teenagers on a vacation. The people of Kilkenny believe this spirit to be that of Margaret Butler. What do you think of this story? Can you even imagine a graduation party or ceremony being held at such a historically gorgeous place. My graduation ceremony was at a Holiday Inn in Ohio. 
so. Leave your thoughts, as always, in the comments below if you're listening in on YouTube. If you're listening in on a podcast platform, make sure to share this episode with your friends and let them know that there is an entire series of Ireland's Haunted Castles. Until next time, stay spooky.